is Chang. I'm back at the ground floor of the fair, and I'm here with Sarah. Hi. Um, could you tell us about yourself? I'm, my name is Sarah Fayad. I'm from the Graduate School of Design. Um, I'm second year urban design student, um, Masters of Urban Design, and my current concentration is looking at affordable housing inequality in cities um, and how we can build more housing and equity for cities. It's a big problem. Yeah. So let's take a look at your project. So my project looked at um, Los Angeles as a case for introducing this sort of um, affordable housing problems and one of the things um, that I started is I used a lot of GIS data that um, kind of introduces a spatial um, concentration of the housing. So if you zoom out on my website, um, you can see that there's metro stations and a different type of housing that I introduced in Los Angeles. So let's say I want to look at the homeless housing projects and I can click on that and it gives me all the information about the project. I can then, um, if I want to know what's happening in my neighborhood, I can always zoom in and like find out exactly where the project is and it gives me the exact address. I can then overlap um, other sort of housing developments um, and same thing, I can click on it and it gives me sort of information about it um, and inventory housing, so what's actually in the pipeline for the project. So here I can click on it again and it gives me all the information. Cool. Um, I've always really liked visualizations. Like you can see patterns visually mm -hmm. that, like, looking at like spreadsheets will never get you. Yes. Um, okay, it seems like you have a, a few data sets. Are these um, from anywhere in particular? Yes, they are from the city of Los Angeles. Oh. So they were in the form of GIS data that were transformed an Excel sheet um, that was used to place through open map, through mapping the interfaces to create this sort of uh, wow, interactive that's, platform. That seems like an interesting technical problem that yes. you, uh, we didn't cover in the course, but glad you uh, made it work. Yes. Um, so did you have prior CS background before this course? No. I actually never even looked at a code. I used to look at a code and just freak out. <laughs> now I can look at a code and be like, oh, that's interesting. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what inspired you or what motivated you to like finally take the leap into CS? Well, I was in San Francisco for um, my internship in the summer and it, uh, what I found so interesting is how technology is taking over the urban, fab uh, the urban, like, the urban places um, and in cities how it's becoming like really sort of knitted into the urban fabric and like how cities operate and and it's just becoming a really important component. So, but I always found this sort of disconnect between urban designers and computer scientists. So hopefully by me understanding this sort of language of programming, I can bridge this sort of gap. Yeah, yeah that seems well needed. Yeah. Um, great, well, thanks for talking to me. Thank you, thanks for coming along. Yeah, back to you all.